All right, everybody, this is what we're going to need to do this project. I have um, Red Heart, roll with it. I got it at Ollie's for $2.99. And this is the colorway mm -hmm -hmm. Opal. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's got a, um, a light blue, a denim blue, a navy blue, gray, teal, and back to uh, a tannish color. It also has metallic thread going through it. I think it's going to work up good. Let's take a look and see what the specs are on this. So it says, of course, it's a 97% acrylic, and I'm sure it's like 2% or 3% metallic. Um, three percent other fibers okay there is 561 yards in this I've never used roll with it in the acrylic form but I did use it in the cotton the 60 40 50 50 or something like that but it also says you can throw it in the wash and you can put it in the dryer which is a plus machine wash and dry see reverse side it says it's a four weight medium. I think it's a lighter four weight. It says to use a 5.5. We're gonna use a six millimeter. And it says a four by four swatch says, um, 14 single crochets and um, 18 returns I guess in R. So I guess if you did a single swatch it would be 14 stitches for a 4x4 four four if you used a 5.5. All right so what we're going to use that's what we're going to use in the yarn. You're going to need a pencil, a six millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, a needle with a sharp edge because you want to split your fibers when you're weaving in your ends and I apologize for that. I'm going to open this up so you don't see all my messy notes that I put in here. So, <clears throat> excuse me, all we're going to do is chain the length that you want, unstretched, okay? So I'm going to do about 19, 18, 19 inches. So I'm going to take my tape measure. And I just did a loose chain. It wasn't tight or anything like that. Let's see. And you want it in multiples of two. So I'm just going to lay this down. And it looks like it's about 18 unstretched. If I stretched, it would be 19, but unstretched, about 18 or 19, which is fine because when you crochet with acrylic, it will have a little um, a stretch to it, and it will sometimes it will tighten up, depend on your stitch. So I did, when I did mine, I... I figured out that it was 18 chains was 5 inches. So I did 18 for 5, 18 for 10, 18 for 15, 18 for 20. So I did a grand total of 18 times 5, 18 times 4, 18 times 4 with 72 stitches. So then I did one for a turning chain. So this is also going to help you to write your pattern. So when I did my chains, I figured I, I ended up with 18 stitches equaled 5 inches. So I did 18, 18, and 18, and it came up to 72 stitches at 5, 10, 15, 20 inches. And as you can see, it was 19. But if I stretched it, it would be 20. Okay. So 72, and we're going to do, we're going to start off with the single crochet first. So you're going to add one. 
because of the same. Okay, now that we got everything out of the way, we're going to start this pattern. So I have my 73 chains. We're going to do, we're always going to start with a single crochet and we will end with a double crochet. But this is how the pattern is going to go. We did a single crochet, but I want to work in the back loop. So let me take that back out and we'll turn it over. We're going to work in that back loop there. We're going to pick it up and do a single crochet. In the next back loop, we're going to work a double crochet. The next back loop, we're going to work a single crochet. The next back loop, we're going to work a double crochet. All right. A single crochet is hook in the stitch in the back loop, draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, go through two. That is a single. A double is yarn over into the stitch, draw up a loop, pull through, draw up a loop, go through two, draw up a loop and go through two. And that's all we're going to do all the way to the end is a single and a double. One single and one double. So do that all the way to the end. In your very last stitch, you should have a double crochet. All right, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're down here our last two stitches. We're going to do a single crochet, and we will always end with a double crochet. So put a double crochet in that last stitch. Now this is this next row is going to be the repeating row. So I wanted to also measure what this was. Remember when we started out, it was 19 inches, 20 if you stretched it. So let's see how much stretch this ended up being or a shrinkage. So here we go. We're just going to lay it down and looky there. It's still about, oops, it's still about 19 inches. So it did not shrink at all. So if you want to do whatever size you want, you, you know that it's going to be the same size once you put your single and your double in there. So this is going to be the repeating row from now on. And you're going to do this for as many rows up as you need. And we're going to go up underneath our arm, um, underarm, okay? So you're always going to chain one. You're going to turn. You're going to put a single crochet in the very first stitch and a double crochet in the next. So when you're doing this, the easiest thing to see is this is a double crochet right there, so I'm going to put a single crochet in that one. That's a single crochet right there, so I'm going to put a double crochet in that one. And that's all we're going to do, a single and a double. Single and a double. Single and a double. So go ahead and do that for as many um, rows up as you need to go up underneath your um, underarms. And okay, so I completed my um, front um, panel to 14 inches. All right, so now. I am going to finish this off by just finishing it up. All right, now we're going to be turning it over. So this next step is kind of tricky, but it, it can be done. And I'm going to fold this in half so that you can see what I'm doing here. All right. 
I could have went ahead and did uh, my chain out for my sleeves, but I want to show you a, a different way of doing it, okay? We are going to, I am going to do a ribbon, ribbing, and we're going to continue this pattern. So my ribbing is going to be five stitches and my sleeve is going to be 24. So we are going to start with a chain of 29. So let's get that. So we're going to do um, sorry about that. Let me turn okay. this on. Forgot to turn my light on so you can see. So here we go. We are going to do a chain of 29. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and twenty-nine. Okay, so we're going to start right back in the same spot after we turned, which you know we always start with a single crochet. So we're going to go right down into the very first uh, chain uh, stitch and do a single crochet. And we're going to do a double crochet and a single crochet and a double and we're going to repeat this pattern all the way till we get to the very end down here and I will be right back with you on that one all right we're down here on the end I did my single there so this is going to be a double and we're going to turn around and chain 29 again so one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-eight, and twenty-nine. Okay. So now, like I said, we are going to do um, five stitches as a ribbing. So what we're going to do is work in the back loop. I think we're going to add one more for 30. We're going to work in the very first one that you see and we're going to do a single crochet in the back loop. So that's one. three four and five now remember we always start with a single crochet so this one we will have six at the beginning but we're not always going to have that so we're going to do a single crochet, then we're going to do a double crochet. We're going to work the pattern, single crochet, and a double crochet, single, and a double. And we will work that all the way down our pattern. And even when we get into the chains, we will still work the pattern all the way down to the last five chains. And we will do back um, single crochet in the uh, hump all the way down. And I'll be right back. So here we are at the end of our front there, and I got a single there. We always end on a double, so there's my double. So we're going to work into the back bump still, 
So identify your back palms and do a single because that's the next stitch after a double. A double. A single. And a double. And continue that for 24 stitches. Now I might have a couple extra chains down here. I always do that. It doesn't matter. But for 24 of your pattern and you will have 5 of your ribbing. So 5 from the end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I will start just with a single crochet to the end. Alright. Okay. My 24th stitch was a double crochet. And now we need five singles. So there's the one, two, three, four, and yay, mine worked out. There is five. Okay, so now what you're going to do is we're going to chain one. And we're going to turn our work. And for the first five stitches, we're going to work in the back loop only with single crochet. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to carry on with the pattern. So I ended with a double crochet there. So we're going to start with a single because that's what we do. Over the single, we're going to put a double, a single, and a double, a single, and a double. We're going to continue this pattern. Our stitch pattern. We are going to go back and forth, back and forth for four inches. I want my sleeve to be six inches, so the front side of it's going to be six inches, and on the back side it's going to be six inches. So we're going to do this for four inches, and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to put the neck in the center of this. Okay? work that and I'll be all right so now we're going to do our shaping of our neck so what you need to do is count your stitches across find your center and I'm going to do an 8 inch neck so I found my center and I went back 4 inches I think I did an 8 inch. Hang on, let me see to make sure. Um, it's about seven and a half, which is okay. So I found the center, counted my uh, uh, stitches for um, four inches. Come over here on this side, counted my stitches for four inches. And place my stitch markers. So all we're going to do is start back, then uh, continue our pattern. We're going to work up to the stitch marker. We're going to do our chain ups or whatever we got to do and go back down. And we're going to do that for two inches. I'm going to have a two inch neck on this side, and on the back side, I'm going to have two inches. So continue working back and forth for two inches. Then come over here and do the same thing. You're going to start here, work back and forth for two inches, and then I'll meet you back. Alrighty, guys. I am color controlling this, so my second cake, uh, it's a wrap. 
I got down here on this one to the turquoise bluish so I decided to pull this out because I'm going to work in reverse now. So you can do yours any way you want to but I'm color controlling mine and so to carry on now I did um, I think this was two inches let me see might be it's two and a half inches is what I did but make enough that it's going to go over your head and you count these stitches so I counted mine and I chained that many stitches all right so you're either going to be on one end or the other so all you're going to do is repeat your pattern still nothing's going to change when you come to your chains so like this is a double crochet there so the very first chain would be a single a double a single a double and you will repeat that as the stitch pattern is all the way across and you will do that until you reach your um, bottom of that so once again my sleeves and yours may be different but my sleeves are six inches so I'm going to repeat this because I'm not going to um, square it up in the back I'm going to go straight down so I'm going to go for six inches down in off of this part right here so once this reaches six inches then I will come back and show you what to do here we will start um, with our back here all right so carry on all righty I want to show you what we have come to here so here is my neck I did not do a um, indentation for my neck in the back I only did it for the front okay so I wanted a six inch arm so I went from there all the way down to where it ended with 12 inches this was six inches so I needed this to be six inches there so it ended up to be 12 okay so my sleeve I only had 24 stitches so what you need to do is do your 24 stitches and stop before you tie it off remember your stitch count across here and mine was 56 so I'm going to make sure uh, finishing the back up that from here which I've already done one sleeve and there is my join and the color of yarn is a little lighter but it blends in pretty good it's a whip stitch is all I done for that so I counted my 56 across and you probably should put a stitch marker in your 56 that way you you know where to stop at or go ahead and do your whatever number you had for your sleeve here and go ahead and stitch them up I'm just going to count my 56 stitches and continue on to finish the top up and all it is is going to be back and forth back and forth the same pattern there's no increasing decreasing nothing it's just one stitch or two stitches back and forth the stitch pattern so when I get down to the end I'll show you what it looks like again and then all we have to do is seam up the sides so let's get to it alrighty so I have completed my other panel for the uh, back and now it's time to zip up the side and the arm 
So what I do is it's kind of hard when you got a variegated that you're not going to look for this color over on this side and, and expect it to be matching up right. So I take my corners and this is the corner of my um, sleeve and I give it a little shake out. Shake it, shake it, shake it, you know. So that they line up. Lay it down. And get you some stitch markers. And I just dumped all of mine somewhere. Here they are, hanging on it. So, I usually go in the center. Put your two stitches together. Place that in there. The center of these two. Place a stitch marker. And then find the center of these two. And place it. It doesn't have to be exact center. Just place a stitch marker. So when you're sewing it up, seaming it up, you've got a good... All you have to do is work this much instead of working all of this. So stitch it up any way you want to. I think I am going to do a whip stitch or, um, yeah, I think I'll do a whip stitch. So this is the color that I had left over and I attached it there and I'm going to run down to the seam. And all I'm going to do is go back and forth. Now you don't want to go in the stitch, you want to grab a hold of some fiber. So here we are in the corner and I'm just going to grab a, a couple fibers. So I'm going to go down through there and grab a hold of that. Pull it and I'm going to go over here and do go from the bottom and go up. Give it a little bit of tug. Come over here, keeping these two together pretty much. Find two, two of them. Go under, pull just a little bit, go under. And that's all I'm gonna do, stitching this up. I'm not gonna go through I'm not going to stick my needle in that big old hole. No. You want to grab a hold of some fiber. So don't leave, don't go through the hole, just go through the fiber. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to go under, under on one. Usually I'd say go under two fibers, but I need to go in the back over here. And that's all I'm going to do is stitching it up. So you can do it any way you want to, like I said. Um, Yeah, I'm going to do all that, and then I'm going to come back, and I think I got I got enough of one color that I can change, go around the neck. I don't know. I haven't decided just exactly yet, but I just wanted to come on here and show you that. So that's all you really have to do, seam this up. Like I said, don't go through... A space because all that's going to do is leave a big old hole. Go through, pick up a fiber, pick up one strand, and pull that through. All right, so I'll be back when I'm ready to come around the neck here.